Okay, I figured I'd better not wait till it gets too dark, otherwise you might not be able to see what's going on. Okay, first thing I'm going to try to light is this uh, buddy burner, so we can get it lit. I'm going to light the wick. That's one of the reasons why I put the wick on there, is see, see if the wick will help, help it burn, get started. Cause I, I've never... It says this wax will burn, by. I don't know. I didn't think wax was supposed to burn. Oh, that's the reason why candles had wicks. That's that's the reason why I put a, a wick on here. I think some of this wax is going to have to burn off this wick before the wick actually gets started. In actuality, I might have made this thing wrong. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have read more about it. Maybe it's supposed to have some kind of alcohol or something mixed in with it. I don't know. If that be the case, then I'll have to get back with you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and light this this alcohol, toilet paper alcohol burn. See if this heat burns any better. Oh yeah, it lit quicker. Yeah, it's lit. It's just like alcohol though. You can't see. You can't see it. Oh, it's burning a lot cleaner. It's not putting nowhere near as much sud out as that regular alcohol put out. I don't know if you can see it burning or not. But it lit right up. I like that. And that was the problem I was having with the uh, with disopropyl alcohol. It just wouldn't burn. It just it took everything to get it lit. I reckon maybe because of the cold. Because I know they say that alcohol uh, doesn't burn in the cold. But, but that heat, it lit right on up. Okay. So we know that works pretty good. I like that a whole lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out so I can light this uh, uh, Trangia stove. I can move it out of the way. So we know that works pretty good. Okay. And get this Trangia stove lit. Okay. I know it's lit. Oh yeah, it's lit. It's the bad thing about alcohol, you can't see it, see the flame, but maybe maybe once it starts burning you'll be able to see it coming through the ports. Yeah. It looks like I can't tell if the the just the wick is burning or the wax is burning on this buddy stove. We'll give it a little bit longer. And we'll wait and see. Well, transit went out. Huh. It's burning. Every now and then, you can see kind of, kind of check a flame out. Doing it this way because it's dangerous. Burn your hand up. Okay, you look around, you'll notice that wax is starting to burn. Yeah. Let me try to stand in front of this Trangia stove. I can tell that all that's going to happen with that wax is, is the cardboard is going to catch on fire. And then what's going to happen, I reckon the, the, the wax is going to keep the cardboard from burning so fast. So I think what's going to happen is the way it works. But I don't foresee that uh, that is uh, burning too good there. I'm going to put this little donkey in front of try to block some of this wind. Right now it's pretty windy. Yeah, yeah I don't think I'm too impressed with this buddy burner thing. I think it's going to be a pain to butt to. Uh, to light it once that wick burned all the way down but we don't know we'll give it a try we'll see what's going to happen
Yeah. But I do like that that heat alcohol fluid inside my toilet paper burner a whole lot better. Yeah. Since the, since the last time I made that video, this is the. You remember my multi burn stove? I've already used it for uh, pork chops and uh, grilled some, put some charcoal in it. Burns charcoal great. Works great for a uh, starter chimney for for your outside grill. Y'all want to see the little pot I made whenever I was in the ninth grade? That's the pot I made when I was in the ninth grade. Uh, I think I, heck, I don't even remember how old I was, but I'm 40 now, so or 53. My mistake, boy. I'm really trying to lose some weight. It's some of the other hobby stuff I do. I do little bird houses, uh, you know, different kind of bird houses. I've probably got about 50 or 60 bird houses that I've made. Okay, let's get back over here. I think I'm gonna have to come back out here when it's actually dark, dark to see how these ports are burning on this uh, Trangia stove because burning so hot, can't really see. I, mean, I can see the flame, but that's about it okay well we know everything burns but if you look real close you can kind of see what's happening with that cardboard the cardboard is caught on fire and uh, it's sucking the wax up into it to the cardboard is what's happening if you look look around outside apparently it's not meant for for a complete uh, reusable source apparently once the cardboard burns it's burnt and that's all there is to it okay then well I'm Turn this off for now. I'll let you see me trying to snuff this fire out on this buddy stove. Well, went right out. Didn't have to worry about that, man. Okay. Y'all have a great evening. Y'all take care. Bye.